Let's take a look at Key Concept 5.2, which brings us to the causes of the Civil War. Here's what it says. Intensified by expansion and deepening regional divisions, debates over slavery and other economic, cultural, and political issues led the nation into civil war. This is their answer to the question, what caused the Civil War? And their answer is everything. Everything caused the Civil War. Let's start with this first phrase, intensified by expansion and deepening regional divisions. Okay, so what was intensified by expansion? That's the word that comes right after the comma, debates over slavery. So the debate over slavery, which is the most important cause of the Civil War, was intensified by expansion and deepening regional divisions. When they say expansion in this period, they're referring to the acquisition of Mexican territory that was a result of the Mexican-American War. The Mexican-American War began in 1846 and ended in 1848. Now, there's a whole complicated history of the war, which you could study if you have the time, but the thing you need to know is that the land that America got as a result of the Mexican-American War made the political debate over slavery a lot worse. In the slow game of chess that was American politics in this period, whenever you added that slave state to the Union, you had to add an equal number of free states, and vice versa, or the balance would be disrupted. By the 1850s, the balance was tipping towards the North. So that's what they mean when they say deepening regional divisions during this time period. As this political situation intensified, the politicians and the judges and courts tried all these solutions. They tried the Compromise of 1850, the Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854, and the infamous Dred Scott decision, in which Chief Justice Roger Taney ruled that Dred Scott had no legal standing because he was property. He wasn't allowed to be in court because he wasn't a person. Now, all this political back and forth didn't really work to reduce conflict. It got so bad in the 1850s that the whole political system of Whigs and Democrats had collapsed, and a new party, the Republicans, the abolitionists, emerged. Their first major victory was when Abraham Lincoln won the election of 1860. The election of 1860 was the most immediate cause of the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln won the election without a single electoral vote from the South. And reeling from the loss, the Southern states voted to secede, which means break away from the Union, and that led to the Civil War. By this point, we've identified two concrete causes of the Civil War. The first was westward expansion, and the second was the political crisis caused when Abraham Lincoln won the election of 1860. But this key concept says that there were other economic, cultural, and political issues that also led to the war. Now, what they're doing here is identifying the complexity of the factors that created the Civil War. It wasn't just about whether slavery was right or wrong. It wasn't just Northerners who opposed slavery and Southerners who supported it. In fact, the abolitionist movement, which sought to abolish or get rid of slavery, was only a minority in the North. Many Northerners really didn't have any problem with slavery on moral grounds, but they thought that slavery undermined the free labor market. Many Southerners felt that the North was completely out of touch with their ways, completely out of touch with their ideology about what slavery was about. It was more than just an economic system. Now, many of these advocates for slavery also appealed to states' rights, so they felt that they had a solid legal argument for keeping slavery. So we can say that the Civil War happened because of westward expansion, a political crisis, and starkly different ideologies about how society should be run. Key Concept 5.2 is all about the causes of the Civil War, and we've identified them. Westward expansion, political crises, and different worldviews about how society should be run. So as you think and write about the Civil War, remember the big picture, the complexity of forces that we've seen throughout the previous periods that we've studied. The Civil War was the result of all of these forces of American history converging on the North and South.